What's up guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group. I was inspired to create this video by one of the users on the Bfim Facebook community. By the way, if you didn't join yet, I will leave you the link to that Facebook group down there in the comment section so you can join it anytime. What I would like to show you today is how to create a custom button using the icon box element, which is probably our most advanced element. So let's not waste any time and let's get down to the business. As I mentioned at the beginning, inspired by one of the users, I would like to show you how to create a custom button using the icon box. So let's jump over to my B Builder screen. First, let's add an icon box. Next, let's change the title. Let's remove the content as I don't need it here and set icon position to right. As I don't like this icon and it basically doesn't fit to what I would like to show you, I will change it to the right arrow icon. After these small changes, our icon box no longer looks like a typical icon box. So let's start styling it to make it look better. For that, we have to move to the style tab. Let's set the background color to white, for example. Let's now set the border to solid, black color, and border width to 10 pixels. As I don't like how white this button is, I will switch to the advanced dimensions tab where or I can set my own width by switching to custom from the dropdown and later typing out value or by mouse scrubbing. I can also set to inline so my button will be the width adjusted to the content in this button. There are two things I still don't like about this button. Text spacing from the left edge and icon size and its color. For that, let's get back to the style tab and in style, container tab, I have to set left padding to maybe 15 pixels. Next, in icon wrap tab, let's change icon size to 60 pixels and also change its color to black to be consistent with the border color. As you can see, in this simple and quick way, we just created a custom button using the icon box. Of course, there are many more possibilities, such as changing its color on the hover, rounding the edges, changing the typography, setting up box shadows, and much, much more. My goal was to show you how in an alternative way you can use elements such as icon box and create something of your own. In this case, a custom button. I hope that I have inspired you to create your own elements based on the already existing ones using the available options which are really huge. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, I suggest to watch another video you can see on my left side right now about stretching wraps in the Bay Builder. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.